Well, this moment's project is to, I don't know, <clears throat> I'm going to ditch this thing. It's going to the scrapyard, screw it. I was going to get it running, but I figure I go and scrap it. It's, it's one less project to do. One less thing in my mind. As I, like I've been saying for the past year on my channel, slowly getting rid of everything until I have absolutely nothing left except for the clothes on my back. That's what I'm working towards. Slowly, we will get there. I promise you. But that's the direction I'm. <clears throat> that's why I avoid fixing shit as much as possible because I have a master plan and the master plan is to. Get rid of every earthly possession I have. And I've been doing that actually for more than a year, probably a couple of years, very slowly. Acquiring things along the way, but getting rid of more than I'm acquiring. Oftentimes, not always. <clears throat> the path is not a straight linear trajectory. Kind of like a zigzag, curly Q, loop de loop pattern. But the overall direction is the one that I just said. And that's to <clears throat> not own anything. Nothing. Because I have a I have a plan after that. I have a plan. <clears throat> Put it this way. If you own nothing, you have nothing to lose. If you have nothing, if you own nothing, you are completely stripped. And you can do what you please. That's the eventual plan. We're, we're not going to get there tomorrow. But we are going to get there. Owning absolutely nothing. No bank account. <clears throat> which I don't have a bank account anyway. No bicycles, no cars, no lawnmowers, nothing. This place was really starting to get like Bill Junking Fool's uh, compound. And uh, I'm doing my best to make sure that that no longer will be. I don't think it's going to do my channel any good. Whatever. My plan 
is to become homeless. That's the master plan. Not own a house, no cars, nothing. Because apparently, you know, after watching so many YouTube videos, the homeless are fucking virtuous. Okay? They're the ones that are filled with virtue. <laughs> okay, so maybe my way of becoming virtuous shall be to be homeless. They have mental issues. Well, there you are. There's a mental issue right there. We need to give the homeless a place to live and a home. All right, motherfuckers, I want you to end up giving me a home and a place to live, a shelter. <clears throat> Something that I didn't work for. Screw it. Why knock myself out dead trying to do the right thing when I don't have to do the right thing? I could be virtuous and own nothing. Own absolutely nothing. <laughs> if you guys believe any of that. No, well, the plan really is to, uh, to own nothing. That is the plan. Because owning anything is, it's uh, nothing but a headache. People want it. Whatever it is that you own, somebody wants it. But they don't want to buy it. They want it for free. Hey, can I have that? You got it for free. No, he didn't. I spent my time and my toil Sure, you can have it for free What are you going to give me? Well, you don't got to give me money What, what are we going to exchange? What do you have that I want? Because I can guarantee fucking to you You don't have anything that I want or need Therefore, you can't have it. That simple. Well, you have a horrible attitude there, King. Well, it is a shame to get rid of something like this. It's, it's just another... It's just another time-consuming project for which we only have a limited time on this earth and uh, I'm not a, I'm not like a super confident guy I could do that you know my daughter was talking about how you know she works with a bunch of guys at her at her uh, place of work Ranger she works she works in the tech repair department. And she's talking about this one guy that's like really competent. He goes around and saying, I can do that. Or I, I'm like, man, I, <clears throat> I really wouldn't want to be around that guy. <laughs> Me and him would be at loggerheads because I'm not competent. Because I know I suck. I'm a realist. I know, I know my repairs and stuff like that are they're horrible because I, I don't have a natural talent. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. 
I'd be actually be doing something that was a little bit more fulfilling. I'm, I'm just not that guy. I've had over 35 jobs in my lifetime and I sucked at every one of them. Tranny fluid for this bad boy. Ugh. Yeah, I hate to part with this thing, but uh, you know. I could piss away my life working on stupid projects that at, bo at, uh, at best the outcome would be mediocre. I've never had it running. The guy I got it from claims it ran when it was parked. I don't know how long ago that was, so. Time to say sayonara, goodbye, this is it. ARP card. I remember hearing, like, probably around the time when my kid was born, people throwing away their ARP card. <laughs> Concrete ledge. This is freaking thing is it's a monster. King, it would roll better if you inflated the tire. I think the tire has a blowout in it from dry rot. Attack, pushing it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm using, I'm using my butt, my glutamus. I'm using all those Big Macs. I've eaten. I'm putting them to work. King, why didn't you get a chain and tie it and then put your truck over there on that side and drag it? There must be a reason why I'm not doing it. Because you're stupid. <laughs> you're full of excuses. Maybe it's just a YouTube channel that I'm doing it for shits and giggles.
Just with everything I do, I put in a I do a a task assessment on uh whether it's worthwhile to do it a certain way. <clears throat> yes. It would be easier to go around, tie it up with the chain and but the unpredictability of it is I could end up pulling it off of the ledge there and I have to repeat. I'd have to repeat said task all over again. <clears throat> 